Hi everyone, I'm working at reading another story to you today, but this is not a column. This was published originally in April 1980 at the Compass, which is a Green Bay Catholic paper. The title is, The Nearest I Get to God is on the Farm. Where is God? Some people find God in church on Sunday. I can say I usually do too, but not always. The stiff formal building gets in my way sometimes. So do problems brought from home, head colds and fidgety children. But I know where I can go and always find God. He has never failed to be out in the middle, middle of a freshly plowed field, under a clear blue sky, or in a life-giving rain. The nearest I can get to God is on the farm. Before the busy planting season starts, most country people find time for a quiet, leisurely walk across their land. A talk with God is so easy on one of these walks. Not a word has to pass from your lips. The communication is never ending. And without any planning, Farmers end these talks by thanking God for spring and the land they love. Of course, planting does get going and there is little time for formal kneeling, but that doesn't mean our prayers stop. There is a silent prayer for each seed planted, wishing it a healthy, productive life. These prayers continue throughout the growing season. We hold our breaths and pray waiting for the seeds to germinate. Then whisper a thank you when thin rows of green can be seen running down the field. It has been said one can hear the corn growing on a hot summer day, but it's not the corn growing that we hear, it's God's voice coaxing the crop up closer to him. Daily we work in a partnership with God Caring for his animals and tending his earth, we are never alone. In church, God seems mystical and far away. In a field of freshly mowed hay, he is the sweet fragrance drifting on the summer's breeze. You can feel him in your hands as corn trickles through your fingers or when a newborn calf touches you with its wet nose. God gives us the sun and the rain, but he also sends the hail and the tornadoes. Disasters have been recorded from the beginning of time and will always be hard to understand, like today. One day, a field of wheat is swaying in the wind, heading out. The next day, it's flat on the ground, destroyed. Or a prized cow is ready to calf. The birth is progressing normally, then something happens and cow and calf are gone. Why? Why did trouble strike our farm and not our neighbor's farm? Or why our neighbor's farm and not ours? Our partner is forever silent in these monumental decisions. This is probably best our minds couldn't handle his supreme reasoning. But disasters do give us another opportunity to contact God. They are sure good reminders that he is still around if we're, we've forgotten. And is not always such a silent partner. His voice is heard throughout the country during a thunderstorm. A farm is the best place to raise children. They never have to look far for the meaning of life. It surrounds them every day they live in the country. It gives them and their parents a respect for God's simplest creatures. It gives them work that makes them feel needed. Adults can see God through a child. When a youngster holds a wiggly puppy and cradles a chick in their hands, the light of the Almighty shines in their eyes. God is in his greatest glory when viewed at this angle. Sure, tractors break down and angry words fly, 
which partner is to blame for the forgotten grease for the ball joint. Farmers are only human. Later, when things are running again, these heated words are forgotten and forgiven. We are never sure if spring will be muddy or dry, or a swarm of grasshoppers will decide to have our corn crop for lunch. Hard times come and go, and the bad only makes the good so much better. We are lucky for all of farming's changes, the seasons, the weather. It never gets boring. God gave us a wonderful gift. He made our life very interesting each and every day. Yes, we have always found God on the farm. Sometimes good, sometimes bad, kind of like today, as we all are spending time away from home as I am. Wishing you better days and healthy days.